Hello everyone, this is Jose Lozano from RC Hobbies on Air. I hope you're doing well. Uh, today we're going to keep having fun with this uh, little gadget here and learn some new things that will serve us well in our learning path. So I invite you to keep watching the channel and enjoy the video. Now, if you've ever visited my site before, you know that I did a great video review of this helicopter in the past. But now, I wanted to get into the details of it and show you a step-by-step -step guide to help you master this gadget and avoid surprises. Again, this is a very simple transmitter. Now, before starting, you want to know some things first, okay? There are a few restrictions given the type of transmitter that we have here. Number one, do not operate the helicopter under the direct sun or strong lighting. Why? Because it will affect the control system of your helicopter. Number two, don't cover the lens of the transmitter because no signal will be released while you cover the lens. Number three, don't stick any label onto the helicopter. Why? Well, because the label can affect the receiving of the signal. Your helicopter works with IR, which means uh, infrared signal. And if you, you know, just do anything to the receiving or uh, sending um, units, uh, that you, you're going to have uh, issues with your helicopter. Okay, so don't do those. Okay. Now, these and more recommendations come in the instructions manual you receive with the helicopter. But since I want to save you some time here, I did the hard work and came with the most important for you here. Okay? However, I strongly recommend you to read the instructions manual completely before operating your helicopter. Now, back to the transmitter. Now, the first thing here is the power switch, which is basically an on off button. Now, when you activate it, the green light goes on and you're ready to fly your helicopter. Woohoo! Now, it comes with two sticks the one at the left that controls your water, which basically makes the helicopter go up and down. Okay, the left stick can be moved only up or down and it keeps the position that you command. Now, the stick at the right controls the water, which will allow you to go left, right, forward, and backwards. Now, the main difference between this and the stick at uh, the left is that this can be moved in any direction and will not and it will not keep the position that you command okay it will always come back to the center and the reason why i disclose this is because once i had someone asking me if this was a you know fabric defect or something okay so it's not that's the way it's made next is the band selector button which is a switch at the top of the transmitter okay in the version i have the transmitter has two bands each one serves you to control a different S Mono 7G with the same transmitter. Okay, so you basically can control two helicopters with the same transmitter that you receive inside the box of your helicopter. Another important feature here is the rotation knob, which helps you to calibrate your helicopter's rotation. Now, when you first start your helicopter, you may notice a slow spin clock or counterclockwise movement, okay? If this happens, don't panic. You have to correct it before taking off or your helicopter won't fly well. Now, fortunately, doing this is really simple. If the heli spins clockwise, for instance, turn the rotation knob counterclockwise until the movement stops. Do the same thing for the other rotation direction and boom, you're ready to go. Now, if you go to the back side of the transmitter, you can see the battery slot, okay, where you have to fit six double A's, which unfortunately are not included inside the box. Ooh. Now, on your van hand side as well, you will see the compartment with the charging wire. Okay, You can use this one to charge your helicopter's battery, the one that's installed on the helicopter, directly from the batteries of your transmitter. Okay? Now, I don't really recommend you to do this um, because uh, you, you get a charging wire, you know, a USB charging wire, and if you have the chance to charge your helicopter from a USB port, your batteries will last longer. Now you know the basics of the transmitter that comes with the s 7 g helicopter. Tell me, do you think this was useful for you, or what other things would you like to know about this transmitter? Also, if you happen to have this helicopter, I invite you to join the conversation and leave your comments and questions below. Also, click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to the channel. Last but not least, visit my site at www.rchobbiesonair.com and share the content on your social channels, okay? Now, I invite you to keep checking the channel and all the other videos that I have about these fantastic devices. And remember, everyone can fly, let me show you why.